nice job. First graders, we learned earlier in the year about a digraph. Do you remember that? And we said a digraph is two letters that come together and make one sound. Ooh, just like that. So like, do you remember for digraph CK, we went C, K, K. Perfect. You can put your hands back. Okay. Today we're going to talk about something that at first you might think is similar, but it's a little bit harder. Today we're going to talk about something called a compound word. Will you say it? Compound word. A compound word is when you have two words that come together and make one and make one word. It's my turn first. Your mouths are closed. So a digraph was two letters that came together to make one sound. This is going to be two words that make one word, only it will be a little bit bigger word. So I'll give you an example. Uh, for bedroom, bedroom is a compound word. I would go like this and I would say bed, room, bedroom. See how I took this word bed and this word room and I brought them together to make the word bedroom? Will you try it with me starting bed, ready? Bed. bed. Oh, I need everybody's hands up. Perfect, thank you. Starting bed, bed, room, bedroom. You got it. So when we say a compound word, and scoot your chair. When we say a compound word, we're talking about two words that come together and make one word. Ooh, some kids started to know it. Let me see. Uh, I'll start a compound word. A compound word is two words that come together and make one word. You got it. So see if you can hear the compound words. Um, In these ones. Tell me what are the two words you hear in toothbrush. Can you do it? Tooth, brush, toothbrush. Ooh, good. Show me, can you hear the two words in cupcakes? Cup, cakes, cupcakes. Brianna, is that you I hear? No, is that? Great. Tell me what are the two words you hear in grasshopper. Ready? Grass, hopper, grasshopper. Good. Last one, what are the two words you hear in pancakes? Ready? Pancakes, pancakes. Good. Now let me tell you a little mistake some of my kids made last year. Brack and check your body. Last year, um, I had a first grader who raised his hand and he said, Miss Smith, I just thought of another compound word, basket. Because listen, bass, ket, basket. And I said, uh have to be careful with that one because bass is that a word no ket is that a word no when we put them together basket it does make a word but it's not two words that made one word that would be something we just call two syllables like bass ket basket you want to try it ready bass ket basket good so not everything is a compound word just because it has two syllables you have to listen if it actually is made up of two different words. Okay. Oh my goodness, Lillian, I'm in love with your eyeballs. Sabrina, you too, you've been watching super close. And Benj, and Rip. Don't tell me you put on eyeball glue again today. Yes. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Tell me what are the two words you hear in this one? My turn. Grapevine. We say it. Grapevine. Two words are? Grapevine. Grapevine. Good. So I split it between grape and vine. Tell me what are the two words in homeroom. We do homeroom, home, room, homeroom. Good. Your homeroom means the uh, class that you have to go to first at school. It's called your homeroom. You can put hands down. Uh, dishcloth. Will you tell me what are the two words you hear in dishcloth? Ready? Dishcloth, dishcloth. Perfect. Like a dishcloth you use in your kitchen. So the first thing I do is I split the two words. You can put hands down. And then, am I done? The answer is no, because I have to finish coding each word. So in grapevine, I'm going to say, macron cross out. Someone knew that. In vine, I'm going to say, macron cross out. Oh, nice job. Some kids might say, 
Miss Smith, do you have to find a vowel pattern? No, once I split this word and once I split this word, I just code each word by themselves and then I leave it alone. Quit reading my mind. After you code each word, then you leave it alone. Homeroom, how I'm going to code the word home is Macron cross out. And in room, I have a digraph O O. I'll just underline it. In dishcloth, I have a digraph S H. Underline. Breathe above the eye. Do it with me. Breathe above the eye. And in cloth, I have a digraph T H. Underline. Breathe above the O. Say it with me. Breathe above the O. Yeah, I can't put a maker on because it's not an open bell. I'll just put a maker on. I could put a little K back on my C if I wanted for cloth. That's how you do compound words. What I'm watching for are kids that quietly have a whiteboard out. Ethan's super fast, London's super fast, and they're ready to write. Paxton already has his. Danica's super fast, thank you. Alexa going quietly and Cole going quietly. Connor, I'm loving that mouth, dude. Shabby, thank you. Okay, ready? Teachers, uh, how this varies or differs from two syllable words is we're not going to clap both words and isolate the first syllable. We're going to say both words and isolate the first word. So it's a similar process, but I want to drive home the idea that this is a different skill. It's a compound word, not a digraph, or not a two syllable word. Okay, on your whiteboard, uh, hands up, will you tell me the two words you hear in dishpan? Two words in dishpan are dish, pan. First word is dish. So you're starting dish. Then finish it, dish, pan. Sabrina, love it, little lady. Coraline just coded it without me even reminding her. Love it. Remy has his coded. Connor, go ahead and code it for me. Yeah, go ahead and code it. Scoot your desk back for me. Yep, a little more. Okay, will you poke a dot check and see if you got each letter? I think in a second I will ask to show someone who stays right with me as we poke a dot check because I see a lot of kids that coded this correctly. Starting D, check it. Ready? D I S H P A N. Whoa, so many kids right with me. If I draw your stick and you were with me, my stick says Ethan. So on Ethan's, I love what he's done. He split it between dish and pan. He got his digraph S H, breathe above the I, and breathe above the A. And I can see he polka dot checked it right with me. Erase, erase. Next word. Will you get your hands up? Tell me what are the two words you hear in, Brianna, your mouth is closed. What are the two words you hear in bathroom? Two words in bathroom are bathroom. First word, bath. 